All right. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Go ahead and check me out on anthonysmoke.com. Definitely hit subscribe here on YouTube. As always, if you learned something, hit that like button, leave a comment, and make sure you ring the bell so you get a notification when I drop a new video today in SQL Server. So if you work with data, odds are you're going to run into the need to import a, a BAK file, .bak file into a database. And so you can import a backup of MS SQL databases from a single file on your hard drive. And that file is known as a .bak file. You can save a backup of your MS SQL databases to a single file on your hard drive as well. So I'm going to show you both. So I'm in SQL Server Express here. And let me just go into my about. I'll just show you uh, what I'm running. Um, this should be, this content should work for a number of uh, systems but and uh, configurations, but just showing you the configuration that I have uh, currently. And you also want to make sure that your BAK file, so uh, on my C uh, program files, uh, C Microsoft SQL Server directory, you're going to look for your instance of SQL Server. So I have uh, SQL Express here. I'm going to click into that. Uh, we're going to go into MS SQL and then backup. And you want to make sure that you've copied your BAK file here. So this is a, uh, a backup file of a, uh, of a Microsoft um, uh, kind of training data warehouse uh, backup file that you can download off of uh, from a Microsoft website. Uh, I copied it out to this folder. So just make sure that you have your BAK file copied here. So what we're going to do, we're going to go into um, our database here, and then I'm going to restore database. And then I'm going to select uh, device. And let's select the three dots here and make sure it's a file. I'm going to add. And then there is my backup file. Let's select him. Say OK. And that shows up. And let's just go ahead and say OK here. It'll do its thing. There we go. Database. Wide World Importers DW restored successfully. I'm going to say OK, and you'll see there is my database. There are tables, and you know I can just expand and, and take a look, right? So I've got some columns. So there's a real database here. Now let's talk about how we make a copy of our database or export all of our data to a BAK file. So if I go in here, uh, well, first of all, let me let me rename this just to DW2, so so we don't have any problems when we try to save this. Um, so now I'm going to tasks, and I'm going to go to backup, and I've got options here. So you'll see the backup type is either full or differential, and we want to stick with full, right? A full backup complete uh, creates a complete backup of the database. So a differential backup will create a um, basically a small a subset. It'll create a, um, a, a log of all the changes that have happened since you've had your last backup. So we don't want to do that. We want to create a full backup. And so copy only backup, that's an interesting option as well. Uh, for 99% of the time, we won't need to do this. But if you're a DBA in an enterprise environment, this may be uh, in, important to you, and you probably already know it. But, you know, when I select copy only backup, when I select that, basically I'm saying continue to use the last full backup file as the source to generate new differential files. So if I have a regular backup schedule going, I select this, I'm saying this is just a one-off, an ad hoc backup. Any new differential files that cr you create, um, use the last backup, not this new one-time, one-off uh, backup that I'm about to create. So by leaving this unselected, I'm saying that this new full backup that I'm taking, uh, any new differential files you create should be based upon this backup. So again, not relevant necessarily for our purposes here, but I'm just going to leave it unselected. Back up to disk. It's going to back up to our default uh, location. And I'm just going to say OK. And then the backup uh, completed successfully. 
And so I can check that. If I go out here, you can see I have a DW2 now, and I didn't have one before. So uh, very, very important skills here for a data analyst. You need to know how to work with your BAK files. Hope you found this tip useful. This has been Anthony Smoke. Get out there. Do some great things with your data. Thanks for watching, everyone.